This place is perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer Robin Banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now, the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier in spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? Jose. Uh. <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. 
Hey, you wanna head into town? See if we can find anything out. Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. If you gonna take the old man into town, you can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yep. Got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Easy, 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 it's okay, easy, whoa, easy. Good girl. Come on now. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just no, trying go. to impress the women. <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Well, lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. 
I sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. Sheriff's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. What's your problem? Never thought I'd see you. Something the matter? All right. Here we are, just like I said. Cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. and Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? Why don't you pick out a cigar? A cigar always focuses the mind, I find. What are you saying? Well, you seem a little scattered, Arthur. Trust old uncle. Let me know if you have any questions, fellers. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. If you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? Lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> That's a wrap cheese, all right. Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> It's a funny world, you know. <laughs> this time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in there New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Yeah. Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That 
does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly? Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her! I'll go see about Karen in the hotel. Can I help you, sir? No trouble now, please! Oh, get the hell out of here, will you? Sorry. Wrong room. friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! Who's talking now, huh? What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing... Nothing to worry about. Just me and... But... Stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. Hope, uh, There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay, okay. Keep investigating. I will. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched oh. me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get... I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah! Hey, that's my horn! Just borrowing it. You stay away from me! Get back here, right now! You stop right here! That's far enough! Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Th then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Please. My hands are slipping. All right. Come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. 
You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this here old mind. <laughs> hey, all right, there we go. Oh, Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here. Come over here, I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly, yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey! There he is! Watch where you're going! Take it easy! Are you about to pal? kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, oh, and we have our answer! <laughs> Stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Make 
making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him. Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. Why don't you sit, Arthur? You okay, Arthur? I guess. He seemed kind of worried. Of course I'm worried. What about? The whole world's changing. Even I see that now. Our time is pretty much past. They don't want folk like us no more. This their rules will be damned with you. No more outlaws. No more killers. Now it's us being hunted. Oh, they ain't stopping. We went and made our choices a long time ago, so... I guess we gotta pay for our sins. Oh, Arthur. What a sad world we live in. Well, I ain't sad, Mary Beth. I'm just... I'm realistic about what's coming. Keep thinking I should help folk, but uh, I don't know. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. You're the only one of these fools knows just how lost he is. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way. Sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But well, I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. 
This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine Stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. <laughs> and Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up and started right back drinking again. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like... Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Morning, friend. Yeah, okay, boy. Stables are just up ahead. Go sell that big brute and buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And what about this one here? Yeah, you looking to sell? I sure you. You got papers? No, no papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. Partner, you got yourself a deal and a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush and some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Interesting choice. How much did you pay for that thing? Not that much. Okay, well, with some good care, you should be able to make something of it. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, 
What's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know, but it's done. Has been for a while now. <sighs> Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long, and you know it. Maybe, but please don't you put that to the test. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. That's the lake there. Good. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. Yeah. Yeah. I should really be heading back over to Great Plains to see about Sean. It's bounty hunters who've got him? So Trelawney says. Javier and Charles have gone with him to scope it out. Pretty dangerous going anywhere near Blackwater. Right, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Of course. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes, and obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Good job. All right. It's getting late. Reckon we should camp here. Sure. Well, then you get a set up. Uh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. <laughs> Come 
Go on, then. I thought you said you were famished. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. We better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. <clears throat> Morning, Arthur. You ready? No, oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But... We'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains. It's Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Let's get after him. Okay, let's go. Come on, girl. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know... I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, Maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's slip by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. Some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. The tracks go into those trees. fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. 
Come on, see if there's anything else. Something else on the ground, just here. There's shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. like the trail ends here. <laughs> we lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. <sighs> well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Best bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. Thousand pounds, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. What do you have here? Got your knife? Shit. Easy. Now it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well... I'm coming with you. <laughs> Let's get going, then. Let's see if Dutch gives us any crap about disappearing like that. I don't need another we gotta be out there making money speech. We were just out scoping a lead. He doesn't need to know it was a big furry one. Well, thanks, Arthur. I probably owe you one. Don't worry about it. I need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon, look into something. See you later. <laughs> 